Hi creatives, it's Claire and happy Wednesday and I wanted to come in today to share something a little bit topical because this week on the blog and on YouTube I've been talking about the fundamental things in that go into choosing a bookkeeping system and I'll let you go over there to find out what those are but I wanted to say, I touched on this in the content, that you don't have to subscribe to an accounting software. It's not necessary to pay for one if that doesn't suit your business. Like I'm not saying that there's free options out there, they're in abundance, they're all amazing and they'll work for every business. That's just not the case. Even the paid for accounting softwares are not going to work for every business because we're all individual, we all find certain things easy and other things harder and they're different for each person. But there's this thing, this perception we might call it out there on the internet oh just pay for the bookkeeping software you'll need it eventually and i just find that so generalized and just like oh it'll help you grow your business faster why would a bookkeeping software help you grow your business faster maybe the mindset around paying for it maybe your attitude in taking things more seriously but actually just paying for a software is not going to in Improve your business else we'd be subscribed to every single software there is so that it would help our businesses like it's just such a generalization it really annoys me so you don't have to subscribe don't think the only way for you to get decent accounting and bookkeeping is by paying 20 30 40 50 dollars a month if that's not in your budget and that's kind of the second thing I want to talk about today is you need to be using a budget to be helping you with these decisions. It sounds really expensive to sit down and think, you know, oh, I'm going to pay $50 a month just for a bookkeeping system that I hate using, that I don't see any value in. Like it seems like for small businesses, it can seem like a lot of money, you know, over the year that really does add up. But if it's saving you an hour, and it's really subjective to decide if it's going to save you an hour, but if it's going to save you an hour a week, an hour a month, and you're charging your client, you know, or your making rate that you've put into your pricing is $50 an hour, $25 an hour, it could actually be worthwhile. So you really do need to look at that cost benefit that you're going to get, the time saving, the integrations, how is it going to help you is it going to motivate you to do your bookkeeping and if you go and use one of the softwares that you think is really easy that appeals to you visually and um, from the functionality perspective and you think oh you know I, maybe i would enjoy doing bookkeeping if i use this software then go ahead and subscribe nobody can tell you what is right for your business without them fully understanding your business and guess who understands your business best you do that's what I always say. You need to be the one making the decisions. So remember, you don't have to subscribe. You don't have to do anything just because somebody else tells you to do it. You need to know your business best and you need to make that informed decision. If subscribing and paying a monthly fee is going to make you, uh, encourage you to get the real value from it and help you save time, then go ahead and subscribe. But know your motivations, know your reasons behind subscribing. Don't just do it because somebody else said it would help you or it would help your business. Because you need to be the one that implements it, that uses it, because the system that works best is the one you use. If you've enjoyed the video, give me a like, questions, hit me up for a comment. 